Hi everybody, welcome to the next edition of Pure Pens TV. Sorry it's been a little while since you've seen me. I uh, hope I've not aged too much in the last few months. Uh, in this video, we thought we'd put together a sort of a travel vlog of my visit to the Estée Dupont factory uh, in the French Alps uh, a couple of weeks ago. So Estée Dupont are a manufacturer traditionally of lighters, so cigarette lighters, uh, and that's still predominantly what they do, but they have a really nice range of high quality pens to go with it, uh, and also leather goods. So uh, this video shows you a bit of the production of the lighters, because that's their main, uh, their main thing, but also some of the pens as well. So it's really interesting to see uh, the artisans working in the factory. Uh, we hope you enjoy seeing behind the scenes too. We flew to Geneva from Heathrow and we went from the Queen's Terminal, Terminal 2, which apparently is her go-to terminal for her holidays to Magaluf with Philip. So the trip coincided actually with a heat wave in Europe, so when we landed at Geneva, just over into the Swiss border, it was uh, about 36 degrees Celsius. Uh, Estée Dupont booked us into a lovely hotel overlooking Lake Annecy, so here it is. And uh, yeah, this lake is looking almost tropical. So we left bright and early in the morning, you can see it was 8.42am when we got on the minibus to the factory. The factory was in a small and relatively sleepy town called Faverge about 45 minutes away from Annecy. We were greeted by the sales director for Europe. Inside the factory we saw some of the old machinery and also some displays of some uh, luggage, lighters and pens that have been made over the years. Once inside and on the factory floor we were greeted by a high-tech and quite modern setup. To begin with, we saw some machinery that was cutting out and engraving some solid pieces of brass that would ultimately become lighters, pens and cufflinks. We were then lucky enough to see one of the members of staff applying the natural lacquer by hand to one of the lighters. And then depending on the finish, these ones were being sanded and polished by another member of staff. There was a new limited edition pen and lighter in production, and here we could see a bespoke part being made for the lighter. Each product which is produced is also then meticulously tested and checked by hand, as you can see here. Before entering the area of the factory where the lacquer was prepared, we were required to suit up in some very fetching plastic overalls to protect the lacquer from any dust or fibre particles. Once inside, we saw the machines preparing the natural lacquer in a process that was very similar to kneading dough for bread. This made it more supple and easier to manipulate. It was then interesting to see some of the machinery used to engrave the ornate patterns on some of the pen barrels and parts. And here I am modelling that very fetching plastic overall. Obviously not ideal when the weather was 36 degrees. So it was a thoroughly enjoyable trip. We want to thank Estée Dupont for extending the invitation to us to visit. And if you ever do have the opportunity to visit this area, we would thoroughly recommend it.